but I really want you to understand something. That the, that the word is real. Anybody, anybody believe in the word? Anybody believe in the word? Like you really believe in the word? Listen to me. Here's what I'm starting to realize. I'm starting to realize the reason why we're not where God wants us to be, the reason why we don't have what we should have, and the reason why we're not experiencing what we should be experiencing is because we're reading it, but we're not applying it. Come on, anybody understand what that means? Well, I want to share something with you. The Bible says, write the vision. Amen. So, so the Bible specifically says that one of our duties as Christians is we should be writing. And a lot of us are not writing. And so there's something I told you, you can go study it on your own when you get a chance, but there's something that actually happens to your whole body and your whole spirit and soul when you start writing stuff down. As a matter of fact, even without the scriptures in the earth, they will share with you that you have a 90% chance of making something become a reality the more you write it down. And so God, it's a command. And I know sometimes when we read the word, it don't seem like a command. He didn't say you have an option when you feel like it. He said, write the vision. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. He said, write the vision and make it plain. What does that mean? When you write stuff down, it makes it plainer. How many of you, honestly, you struggle with writing it down? Let me just see, be honest. You struggle with writing. Hallelujah. For real, you just don't write stuff down. Let me just see, hand. keep it up. Don't, don't put your hand down. Keep it up. Write the vision, make it plain. So, so what I want to share with you is that as you begin to write more, you're going to be blessed more. Praise God. I'm, I don't even want to make it deep. As you begin to write more, amen, you're going to have more. As you begin to write more, you're going to be able to do more. As you begin to write more, more is going to happen in your life. Everybody say more in 24 for me. Come on, more in 24. So, so I'm trying to tell you that, write it down. Like if there's something you want in your relationship, write it down. Look at it every day. Amen. This, the Bible says write the vision. He's not talking to be talking. He's not writing to be writing. God said write the vision and make it plain. So I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to give you what God told me to tell you today. I want you to write it down. And God told me to tell you that your life is going to be 50% better. Everything about you is going to be 100% better if you do this. All right? So here's the principle God told me to tell you today. Stay in character. Good. Write it down. Stay in character. Praise God. You know what's so crazy? It's so simple, amen, that it don't even seem deep. Hallelujah. It just seems so, like I just said it and God told me to tell y'all this and everything in your life is going to change. Every, listen to me, I'm, I'm going to say it one more time because I want to make sure I'm clear. Your whole life is about to change and you don't need to do anything else today. This is the only principle you need today. God told me to tell you today that if you would stay in character, your life would be blessed. Amen. Which means what? Which means that we're not where we're supposed to be because the enemy is constantly getting us out of character. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm by myself. Amen. I thought I, thought I would get an amen. I'm going to say it one more time. We're going to start all over from scratch. God told me that the way I was raised, amen, it was enough. Like the way I was raised, like I, I, I don't want to go through the whole thing with you, but I'm just telling you, like my mom did not promote uh, me having multiple girlfriends. My mom didn't promote that. You called a crib and it was more than one girl that called a crib. I don't care if it was high school. I don't care if it was middle school. My mom's like, do me a, first of all, don't call my house again. Click. So my mom made it easy. She was like, you ain't even got to do the work. I'm going to do it for you. So I just need to know who you close to and you just tell me who you close to. And then I'm going to make sure that anybody else called, I'm hanging up the phone on them. I'm just being real. When I came, my mom, you couldn't have like, you couldn't have people in your house, or I'm sorry, her house, their house, in the bedroom. You couldn't have people in the bed. Like, you could only be in the living room. <laughs> like, well, like, I'm just being real. My, my, my mom raised me, if you got a friend, y'all in the living room or on the porch. Like, you wasn't going to nobody's rooms. You wasn't in no basement. It was uh, the porch. <laughs> that was like, the porch was like the main hub with the porch. And then if she liked them, then they could come in the living room. But they couldn't be in the kitchen. Listen to me, God showed me. You was raised, well, you was raised like my parents worked. 
So we didn't have to sell dope. My mom had a job. She worked at Ford Motor Company, headquarters. My father worked at GM who raised me. We, I, like God was like, the way you were raised, you was good. The, the only challenge you had is that when you were in school, I'm talking to my young people now. When I was in school, I would get out of character. Because my friends was acting a fool, I started acting a fool. Now here's what I knew though. I knew that my friends weren't gonna get their butt whipped when they got home. I was. I knew that. I already knew my friends, like their parents was like, either wasn't there or they was the cool parents. I didn't have cool parents. I had you getting your butt whipped parents. If the teacher call our home. <laughs> I'm, look y'all, I'm being real. I was on Trojan and Eight Mile. I, Braille and Trojan. I remember walking home, seeing my father standing outside when the teacher would call, waiting for me on the porch. It wasn't even though you come in the house and we're going to talk about it. He was on the porch, like, come on. Miss Weed just called the house. I had a teacher named Miss Weed, so I used to be teasing her. Miss Weed, got me, Weed, 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 Weed. And my father's like, okay, Miss, you want to keep talking to Miss Weed like that? Come on downstairs, find you some weed. We about to get that. So listen to me very closely. I want to say this. I want you to know that, that a lot of your blessings that you are not getting, you cannot blame anybody else. The reason why you're not getting everything that God has for you because you're not staying in character. I, want to, I, know, I know you want to hear something dope. <laughs> I'll say, I just want to hear, I'm going to say it one more time. The reason why we're not where God wants us to be is because the enemy has found a way to get us out of character. Let's go to the word. Let's go to the next one. I want to read this. Okay, let me read this and then we're going to go. The Bible tells us who to be. Amen. Anybody, can, can I get an amen? Can I get a witness? The Bible tells us who to be. And as long as we follow that guidance, we're going to succeed. The Bible tells us who to be. The Bible, like the Bible is so dope. The Bible says, listen to me. God said, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to bless you. And when I bless you financially, anything I give you, all I'm asking you to do is to return a tenth. If you return that tent, I'm going to open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessing. There shall not be room enough to receive. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to bless you, but I'm so God that not only am I going to bless you, I'm so God, I'm going to rebuke the devourer for your sake. Because one of the things that I know that you probably don't know is that even though I bless you, it's going to be some stuff coming to try to take your blessings. So one, I'm going to bless you. Two, I'm going to protect what I gave you. Oh, come on, somebody. You ought to be excited about that. The bank don't even do that. I promise you, the bank tell you to put your money in there and they take all of it. They ain't trying to give you a dime. I'm just being real. You can go to college. They will take your money, give you a degree, but they ain't about to get you no job when you graduate. I'm telling you, we serve a God that's like, not only am I going to bless you, but I'm going to ask you to give me 10% back so I can bless you some more. Then I'm going to protect what I gave you. But we get our character. We didn't got a bill and we got our character. Now we got a bill, so we're not going to give God his tenth. We got out of character. Something happened. Somebody showed you some car that you need to buy. And so you went and bought the car and you out of character. And now your car break down. You talking about what happened. You, he didn't, you didn't do the tenth. So the insurance policy ain't on your money. By just giving God a tenth of what he asked for, he would, listen to me, it's so simple. God said, I'm about to bless you with 100%. Just give me 10% 10, 10 back. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you the whole hundred. So you can make the choice if you want to give me the 10 back or not. But if you give me the 10 back, I'm about to put an insurance policy on your whole, on all your stuff. They're going to be breaking in cars in some kind of way your car ain't going to get broken into. Some kind of way everybody else going to get sick, you're not going to get sick and die. Some kind of way I'm just going to protect all your stuff. It, but what happens is the Bible tells us who to be. And as long as we follow what the Bible tells us, we're going to succeed. When we allow the enemy to pull us out of character, we get different results. I'm here to bless somebody today. You are enough. And the devil knows you are enough. And that's why he always try to take you from who you are and want you to be somebody else. He knows, he knows who you are more than you know who you are. And so he's constantly trying to get you out of character because if you stay in character, you're going to be blessed. You come out of character, you're not going to be blessed. <laughs> I love it. It's so simple. It's hard. <laughs> 
Watch this. Let's go to the word. Let's go to the word. So, so he tells us who to be. He said, be angry. This is the God. This God. God said it's cool. Be angry. Don't trip. It's okay to be angry. But don't get out of character. Do not sin. The devil is bringing anger to get you to sin. So God said, I just want you to understand something. I'm not tripping when you're angry, but be careful because for a lot of you, anger is a trigger to be something you're not. I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I, I, I'm about 90% delivered from road rage. I'm about 90%. I'm about 90. That's a little 10% in there when they drive by and give me the finger. I'm like, whoa, did they just, I didn't even say, I didn't even do nothing. Like, Bruh, I'm, I'm, I'm not from the sticks of Alabama, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm a minister, but I'm from the city. And my wife says to me, now listen to me very closely. They probably don't have nothing to live for. You have everything to live for. You go chase them if you want to. You go say something to them if you want to. Go say something if you want to. You have a wife that needs you. You have children that need you. That little moment ain't that deep. You about to get into it with them to show them. I'm going to show you. She says, show you, show them what? If they living in sin and they didn't lost their rabbit mind, what you about to show them? You about to bring them to the Lord going off? Let them go off and let them drive off. You got a purpose. There's something that God called you to do. Stay in character. They might end up coming to your church one day. They're going to leave if you got into it with, oh, that was the same dude. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> He ain't no man of God. He, I'm out. So listen to me very closely. I want to say it, and I want to keep saying it. Stay in character. That's the word for today. Stay in character. So he said, be angry, but sin not. Huh? He said, don't let the sun go down on your anger. Give it a time frame. <laughs> Why? Because if you go to bed upset, you about to, you go in the bed out of character. You about to be in bed out of character. You about to wake up out of character. And guess what's going to happen? You are now on enemy's territory. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to. Am I talking to anybody today? Am I talking to anybody? Sometimes you get angry out of character. You get envious out of character. You get jealous out of character. You mad out of character. You hungry out of character. I just want you to know, you got it going on. But once you come out of character, you no longer have it going on. When you're in character, you're in Christ. And God going to bless all your stuff. Once you come out of character and you start talking like they talk, you don't even talk like that. I'm just being real. I don't even cuss. My man did the finger. I promise you, a, a cuss word came to my brain. I was like, God, where that come from? He like, you angry. <laughs> Be careful because you're in your brain right now, but be careful because it's going to come out in a minute. And once it come out, you might start cussing. You got too much other stuff that you're dealing with. You don't need to add sin to your life. Am I talking to anybody? I ain't perfect, but I don't need to add nothing. <laughs> I got enough sin. I don't need to add no more sin in my life. I got enough that Jesus got to work through. I got enough that I got to work through. I don't need to add your stuff. Listen to me, babies. When you were in school, you don't know what these kids going through. You don't know what their experiences are. You don't, you don't act like them or do what they doing. It, this ain't no eye for an eye. Because if you do an eye for an eye, then you get what people who do an eye for an eye get. You get their reward. I just want you to know, when you come out of character, you get what they going to get. I want to stay in character because I want to get what God has for me. And let me tell you something. I don't care who you are and what your excuse for coming out of character was. God ain't about to hear it. Oh, your husband did what? Oh, yeah, come out of character. We'll come out of character together. <laughs> I'll stop being God while you tripping. Let's both trip. Oh, what did your wife say? Oh, come out of character. No, there is no excuse. Even Jesus Christ, three times he said, I don't want to do it. And he had to say, nevertheless, not my will, let thy will die. God said, stay in character. You got to die on the cross. We got work to do. Get, get, out, get over your feelings. Whatever you're going through, get over it. Whatever, whatever's bothering you, get over it. Whatever you're afraid of, whatever going on, get over it. You got to die on the cross. They need to be forgiven of their sins. Stay in character. 
I know you sweating blood and t- I know you cry. I know the disciples didn't, they, uh, they, they're not backing you up no more. They didn't fell asleep. I know the enemy and demons are all around you, but do me a favor, Jesus. You got to down the cross and say to the world, stay in character. Huh? Did you hear what the word says? Why has thou forsaken me? God, where are you? He said, don't trip. Just stay in character. Stay on the cross. Whatever you do, don't come down. Whatever you do, don't use your power to get off the cross. Whatever you do, don't do an eye for an eye. Whatever you do, the people that put the cross on you, don't get back. I want you, I say it out loud, son. Stay in character. Oh, Lord. Why has thou forsaken me? Why has thou forsaken me? Lord, forget those that are persecuting me right now. He had to stay in character. He had to stay in character. They didn't put a nail in my, what? They didn't put Christ. What? They didn't spit on me and ask, am I really the Christ? Do you know what I'll do to y'all? Stay, son, stay in character. Don't do what they doing. It won't go right if you do what they doing. You got to stay on the cross. Huh? Jesus stayed on the cross. Meaning what? He stayed in character. And you wondering why your money the way it is. You got out of character. You know, what, you know what to do. You know, you're not crazy. You know what to do to keep your credit score right. You know what to do. You overspent. You got out of character because you was worried about what they thought about you. You didn't want them to think you were poor, so you bought outside of your stay in character. God going to bless you when he's ready to bless you. Stay in character. When it's your turn, it's your turn. Stay in character. Don't you, get, don't you date that joker. Stay in character. It's okay. Don't date her. Stay in character. And we get out of character, then we're like, oh, God, what's wrong? The way you act and your attitude is why you're getting what you're getting. If you would do what I told you to do, let's go back. Be angry. Watch this. This is what he, I love it. God, watch this. He didn't even say don't be angry. He said be angry but do not sin. He didn't say don't be angry. He said don't let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. What is he saying? Don't get out of character because once you get out of character and you start acting like the devil, then I got to treat you like the devil. I don't show favoritism. So if the devil is being corrupt and you being corrupt, you got to deal with that. If the devil is lying and you lying, you got to deal with lying. I can't go, that's my child. I overlook lying. You lying. You about to deal with lying. So for whatever reason you thought it was necessary to lie, now you got to deal with the consequences of it. Get the reward and just be whatever you are, but still tell the truth. Okay, yeah, your pride might get hurt. Your ego might get hurt. People might be looking at you crazy. But once you get on the devil's side, God about to be looking at you crazy. And you about to start getting the rewards that demons get. We don't want that, saints. Stay in character. Say it with me. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, because some of y'all was like, I need win. Okay, I apologize. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay in character and stay blessed. Get out of character and get cursed. Period. It doesn't matter who you are and why you did it. You out of character. Let's go into, let's go into the word. Uh, uh, here, I want you to, uh, before we go, be, your, be authentic to who you were created to be. All right? And you'll guarantee success. Be, be who you were created to be. For real, be who you were created to be. I, I wasn't created to do certain things. So it's like, then don't do it. Right? I got a big challenge coming up. God said, you big dummy. You've been doing, you've been doing prayer line for over 20 some years. You've been on a call doing that. Why are you not doing the challenge the way the world doing the challenge? Why are you trying? Why are you trying to be like them and how they doing it? Son, get on the phone and pray with folks. Get on the phone and encourage folks. Do what got you here. You watching the little strategies and systems they got, and you trying to stop, son, be who I call you to be. You doing it their way, and you ain't even getting the results that they getting. <laughs> I'm going to say it one more time. You doing it the way they doing it. You're not even getting the results they doing it. Come back, son, and do it the way I told you to do it. Don't, 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 don't put 50% of me in or 70%. Your whole swag is me, son. Just bring me to the party. And whoever don't want to show up because I'm there, it's okay. Just And my sheep know my voice. If they don't come, they not my sheep. Don't trip. Don't trip. They mean they ain't supposed to be there. 
You're trying to switch it up so that they can love me more. They either going to love me or they not going to love me. You can't make them love me. So you just stay you. Be, be authentic to who you were created to be. Oh, I can't believe he did that. I can't believe she said that. Oh, I'm about to let him have it. Don't let nobody have your promises. Don't let nobody have your benefits. Don't let nobody have your rewards. Don't let nobody have the glory that God has given to you because you didn't stoop down to their level. Stay in character. I don't care who it is or why you out of character with them. Stay in character. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is deep. I want to show you all this. Nothing new. Eve was deceived when she ate of the fruit. I didn't put apple. I'm sorry. That might have been on the internet. And I copied and pasted. I don't know if it was an apple or not. But Adam reacted instead of responding. So here's what I, here, here, here's what I, here's what I want us to do. I want you to see how Satan just got two for one. He's got two for one. <laughs> He just got two for one. The Bible says that Eve was deceived. Adam wasn't. He got two for one. It doesn't matter how he gets you. <laughs> I just want you to see like it don't matter. Like she was deceived. Adam was not. It doesn't matter if you're deceived or you're not deceived. It don't matter if you was in your right mind or you wasn't in your right mind. It don't matter if you was trying to look out, you was being helpful. It does not matter. They both got tricked. They both got kicked out the garden. <laughs> Both of them. It wasn't like Adam. I'm, I got you, homie. I got you. It's good. Don't worry about it. She was deceived. You weren't. So we're going to let her get kicked out. You're going to stay in. Can I tell y'all, can, can I be just super, super transparent for a minute? Is that okay? Can I just be super, super transparent? You know what I'm grateful for? I was just telling, me and Jamie was having this conversation the other day. I was like, yo, I'm so grateful that I'm not in a corrupt church. I said, bro, I'm just so grateful we could just be real with each other. There, 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 there were some slides that were done, and Chuck told the person that did the slides, like, yo, it's just not, it, it just not up to par. Right? And the person was teasing, like, I quit. You know what I said? It's like, I quit. Do them yourself. Like, no, nah, I'm just teasing. Show me what, how it needs to be, and I'm going to take it to that level. I was like, praise God, because I've just been a part of stuff where it was like, this person get to get away with murder, but this person gets judged. It's just like, you just can't be blessed just because it's people you like. You just can't do wrong because you like them. <laughs> when you're dealing with God, it's a standard that he don't play those games. He don't play favoritisms. Either you, either you the standard or you're not the standard. And if you're not the standard, it'll make you a bad person. You just got to step up. I look at Pastor Tyus now where he is. I promise y'all we used to have conversations. And I say, I love you to life. Or you wouldn't be, I love you. But you got to... I can't take you to no football program. I know you want to go. I know you, you might feel some type of way when I don't, but you ain't got to feel no type of way. If you get here, I can take you everywhere. So let's not focus on this. Let's focus on the standard. And then TJ came to me once and he did the African wild dog. I was like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> that right there. Woo. The, some of the other stuff you said, I heard that before. I ain't never heard that before. You're going to kill him. We got to Flo Florida. Killed them. Ohio State, he talked to Ohio State more than I talked to. The, uh, the Minnesota Vikings, he murdered them. I was just like, yo, do me a favor. I don't even want to go no more because I ain't even there play football and I don't look like I play football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I only go because they know, you know, they think I'm sweet. But here's who you really need. Not only does he have a word for you, he played the game. I'm trying to tell y'all, I could have brought him with me when he was whack and he they would have never got another opportunity. I'm not doing him no favor bringing him somewhere when he average. This is Ohio State, the Ohio State. And so we serve a God that's saying like, yo, you can't be corrupt. I don't care if you was deceived or not deceived. You did something I told you not to do. I told you don't eat from the fruit, period. I gave you all of this stuff and some kind of way you chose the one thing I told you don't bother. I don't care the reason why. I told you do not eat from this for the day that you eat from it, period. Stay in character. Stay in character. Adam could have easily just been like, ah, you got to see, baby girl. I'm good. <laughs> Love you. I'll see you later. <laughs> it was good. Some great times we had together. <laughs> I got to go. But Adam went right ahead with her. So let's just read it real quick. 
Here's what I want you to start doing as of today, because we're going to stay in what? We're going to stay in what? Because our blessings are in character. The devil wants us to get out of character because he could go, look, I told you. So they got to get the same punishment I get or you're not fair. <laughs> he just wants you to go to hell like him. <laughs> it ain't rocket science. <laughs> he don't got your best interest in heart. He actually puts you in a situation to mess up and then go, <laughs> what's the difference between what he just did and what I did? <laughs> if I got to go to hell, he got to go to hell. I'm just saying, he's the same person that set the whole scenario up for you to go off. <laughs> he the one set the whole situation up for you to be somewhere you weren't supposed to be. He set the whole situation up for you to get angry. He set the whole thing up and then he put you in a situation to get you hurt and then you got hurt and now you like, oh God, now you going off on God. You making God the enemy. I love the devil. He didn't make, he didn't, God, all the blessings he didn't done, some kind of way the devil didn't turn it against God, and you mad at God, and you on the same team with the devil, and you about to go to hell, and he geeked. And I'm not talking about fire. I'm talking about hell on earth. I'm talking about the stuff we go through when we get out of character. Okay, all right. So, so let's go. So, so react is a quick and often emotional or instinctive response to a situation. Now, Pastor Ty has taught y'all this before, so I'm coming back to it because I see some of us didn't get it. <laughs> he preached it. I guess it must have just been a good word because we didn't apply it. So Pastor Ty has said when somebody reacts, is they, it's a quick and often emotional, instinctive response to a situation. <laughs> Eve, boom, Adam, huh, Adam, <laughs> ah. What it would have been so much different if Adam would have been like, okay, Eve, give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. Matter of fact, do me a favor. I want y'all to start doing this for me if you don't mind. When you feel that thing that you know is about to make you compromise, is about to take you out of character, I want you to do me a huge favor. This is what I learned because I was very impulsive in my life. Like buying stuff, doing stuff, I was impulsive. Somebody, switched, they changed my whole life. It's like, do me a favor. I'm not telling you to say no. I'm telling you to say, give me 24 hours. For real, they called me with a deal. I got this deal. I'm like, give me 24. Let me think about it. Let me pray about it. If Adam would have just went, Eve was like, hey, Adam, boom. If, Eve, if uh, Adam would have just been, baby girl, you know I love you to life. You all I got. <laughs> We've done a lot together. You, you're the bone of my bone. <laughs> you flesh of my flesh, baby girl. I love you. Just give me 24, though. I'm not going to eat it right now. Give me 24 hours to think about that. But baby, do you love me? I absolutely. That's why I'm taking 24. Because <laughs> I need to love me too. And right now it's just about you. And that could get me in trouble. So just give me 24. I need to go talk to my lawyer. <laughs> I need to go talk to my counsel. <laughs> Uh, 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 father, she told me to eat it, and between me and you, I want to eat it. Now I'm trying. I, I, number one, I told you take 24. Number two, I'm telling you be be honest. Stop playing games like you don't want to eat it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying for real. There's people in my life they be mad at me because I tell the truth. I'm like, look, I'm not about to lie no more. I don't, I'm I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to tell you the truth. I'm, everybody got their own brand of temptation. Period. Everybody got their own addictions. I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I don't have one so you can think well of me. You either with me or you not. I'm saying you either with me in my, like, you know I'm sinner just like you or you can't handle it, one of the two. But we're not playing games. Uh, Father, I want to eat it and I really don't want to eat the fruit because she didn't want to eat it. I'm not even really into that kind of fruit. <laughs> that was her. Like, I don't even be by the tree looking at the tree like that. Like, that's not even my thing. I'm good with all the other stuff. That's her. <laughs> I don't even really have no interest in the fruit, to be real with you. That, she the one that's like real cu curious. Like she got a question. She got to know everything. Her curiosity got her eating. I'm good. I don't need to know. You told me don't do it. I don't got to go by the tree. Well, I wonder why. What's the purpose that we can't? I don't. That's her. I just don't want to lose her, though. For another transparent moment. Is it okay? Can I just be? 
Can I be real? This is crazy. I don't know how it even happened. I went to the house by myself the other day, and I was in the other house, and when I was in there, uh, I had got this weird, um, what do you call it? It's called Telegram. And I had got this weird, you know how when somebody come on Telegram, it's like, you know, boom, it's Telegram. And so I had got this weird message like, it said, my grandma just joined Telegram. And I was like, okay, maybe it ain't my grandma. Maybe they just call it grandma. So I looked up the number. and was like, whoa, that was my grandmother's number. Right? So I just had this crazy thought, right? Real. It was like, it was like I'm in this house by myself. And it's like, I imagine that, you know, God or Jesus was there and was like, hey, you can come to heaven right now, but you got to come right now. You can't go and tell Dee Dee that you coming. Like, you just got, she's going to find you not. And I was like, oh, man. I got stuck. I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> do I go to heaven and not tell her? Or do I run over there and tell her? He said, you can't run over there and tell her real quick. And I was like, oh, do, do I go or do I just go tell her? I was like, what do I do? And I sit there and was like, it was a quiz, and I couldn't answer the quiz. I, I couldn't answer it. I was like, okay, I don't know if I should just go and be with God, but then she come here and find me dead. She don't know what happened. She don't know where I am. Or do I go over there and then I don't? And I was like, whoa, God, that's deep. Like, I'm questioning what I should do. I was like, whoa, we got work to do. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you judging Adam. You was asking, how could he do that? I just was, the other day, I just was asking myself, do I go to heaven? Do I stay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was like, what do I do? God was like, whoa, you love, you love your wife that much? Like, this wasn't even real. This was just a, <laughs> this was just a little quick pop quiz. You love your life on earth that much? Like, you need to pray. And I was like, all right, cool. So I'm, I'm, so I'm feeling Adam. Adam like, all right, God, I know you got all of this for me, but uh, I'm, can you replace her? Like, what's up? What can, am I about to be by myself again? Because I remember what it was like to be by myself. I remember what it was like to see all the other animals with somebody. I, male, female, I was by myself. Come on, I just don't want y'all coming to church playing church. Are we reacting? Respond is a more thoughtful and considerable action. It, <laughs> or reply, taking time to think and then act more deliberately. Adam didn't do that, and maybe you do, but I don't. And so maybe this is why God is quizzing me so I can start thinking about some stuff before it, start, before it happens. Let's go. All right, we're going to get y'all out of here. I'm going to show you what character looks like. Proverbs 31, the wife of a noble character. This is what she looks like. Stay in character. She is clothed with strength and dignity. Stay in character, and I want you to watch something. If you actually do what Proverbs tell you to do, you're actually, this is why you're going to be blessed. You're not going to be blessed by hocus pocus. You're going to be blessed because your character is going to require blessings. <sighs> okay, either y'all thinking or y'all you know saying, oh, I lost you. I don't know which one. What I'm trying to tell you is in order to be a multimillionaire, you have to be a multimillionaire. I'm just going to say it one more time. I got billionaire friends, multimillionaire friends. I get it now. In order to be a multimillionaire, you have to think like a multimillionaire. You can't be a multimillionaire and think in poverty. They don't go together. I'm just saying, you can't be the kind of person, if you want to make millions, you can't be the kind of person that you're only looking out for yourself, that you're only trying to make money. You cannot be a multimillionaire if you're not blessing multiple people. Okay, I got to show you again. If you're a multimillionaire, it means you're blessing millions. If you are a thousandaire, you're blessing thousands. <laughs> if you're a hundredaire, you're blessing a hundred. I'm just trying, trying, trying to show you. It's a character thing. It's not a money thing. We attract what we are. You can't get around it. You can't get more. You're not going to ever get less. You are who you are, and you will attract it. God is saying, if you follow what I tell you to do, and you stay in that, you are going to attract what I... She is clothed with strength and dignity. This is who she is. We can't debate it. She can laugh at the days to come. She's not, uh, she not letting what happened to her make her act a certain way. She, the days that are coming, she's laughing at them. Why? Not because the days are not tough, but she knows who's tougher than her days. 
This is the difference between reading the word and really letting it get in you. She laughed. The Bible says not only is she going through her go through, she laughing at it. It's a joke to her. It's funny to her. <laughs> God got it. She speaks with wisdom. Huh? Choice words, wisdom. She's not just talking to be talking. She speaks with wisdom. She knows what her words, she's either building up or tearing down. Let me just say this. This is a quick pause. If it's something that you love, build it. People talk, oh, you just, I'm not no special person. I ain't, I'm not unique. I speak well of my wife because I want a healthy relationship. I don't speak ill of Didi. I publicly give her her honor. Why? Because I'm building her up. I'm not tearing her down. How can you expect to tear somebody down and you think ain't nobody else going to tear them down? Everywhere I go, people want to know who D.D. is. When I leave, she's going to be rich. Why? Because people want to know her story. I, I, I'm building her up. I'm setting her up for success. Everybody, ooh, this D.D. Who is D.D.? I, man, I need a D.D. D.D., D.D., D.D. Why? Because I speak well of her. So I make people speak well of her. Speak well of your son and your daughter. I don't care what the teacher say. I don't care what the teacher says. I don't care what the doctor says. Speak well of your child. Okay, I'm sorry. And faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household. I told Didi, I feel sorry for Didi, y'all. Didi, this morning, she said, you know, I just want to thank the Lord. You know, we have a little uh, test grateful thing we do. We got the little book. For those of you who got the book, make sure you fill it out. So we, you know, fill it out. And Didi was in character on the way to church. We pray because we human. So we have not always been like in character on the way to church. Like it's a new thing. God is good. Amen. And so we're on our way to church, and Didi's in character. And she's just talking about, like, man, I'm just grateful. You know, the Lord is blessing us. I remember in the winter, you know, we didn't have a certain amount of money, and we had to watch the bills, and we had to do X, Y, and Z. You know, and I didn't want to get on her nerves. And I was like, and I'm grateful, too. She's like, what you grateful for? That I don't even have to pay the bills. I don't even know which ones there are. I don't even know when they get paid. She's like, oh, I, I, you being selfish. I said, no, and, she, and, and go back, I want you. And, and she watches over the affairs of her household. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with men paying bills. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't got to pay them. Did he take care of all the bills and the church stuff and ETA and the taxes? She, 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 she watches over her affairs. I'm telling you today, if your affairs are going to be great, they're not going to be great by hocus pocus. If your affairs are going to be great, they're not going to be great because you just stared at them and prayed over them. Your affairs are going to be great because somebody took ownership. <laughs> somebody took ownership of the affairs. They're just not going to pay themselves. I'm just being real. I look at my children like, man, God, I'm blessed. They, my kids are not blessed because they blessed. They blessed because of what their mama was doing for them. I'm just being real. I ain't dogging nobody out. My mama didn't raise my kids. My mother-in-law didn't raise my kids. My wife raised our kids. I'm not saying that their grandparents, but the grandmamas were not definitely grandpa. That's a whole nother thing, but their grandmamas was there. I'm not saying they weren't there, but I'm telling you, my wife didn't have a child and put it on somebody else. My kids didn't spend a night at nobody's house. No, I'm not saying you don't let your kids spend a night at nobody's house. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they blessed because their mama took care of them. Jalen and Jada just didn't come out and become who they are just because they raised themselves. Somebody raised them. They mama did the Lord's prayer with them at night. <laughs> there was specific stuff. Y'all going to college and you getting out of here. So you don't got to go to college, but at 18, you out my house. <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm saying? There are some things that happened to my kid. I had to jump in because my wife was like, I'm done. You 18. Whatever happens after this, you good. I did my work. My wife took care of the affairs. If you want your affairs to be taken care of, you just can't pray. You just can't read your Bible. You just can't come to church. Somebody specifically has to take ownership. And y'all decide in your family who that is. We ain't on no gender stuff. And I told my wife, and I'm grateful that I don't have to worry about money the way I had to worry about money years ago because I'm, I'm taking ownership of making sure we eat. Don't mean you don't have to work. She loved working. But I'm taking ownership. Am I talking to anybody? Because we're going to get through this. 
and does not eat the bread of idleness. If you would just, this ain't even all of Proverbs 31. If you would just do this part right here, you're going to be smoking Joe Frazier. If you just do this part right here, uh, Jamie was like, E, what's that? Does not eat the bread of idleness. I said, man, let me just be real. I'm so mad at my wife. I'm like, Didi, I, I have put you in a position to retire. Didi said, I don't know who you think I am and who do you like, what you think about me, but do you understand? I just can't be sitting in the house all day. Do you understand that cars that don't get driven rust? They decay. For my sanctity, I got to get up and do something. This ain't about money. This is about purpose. This is about my calling. This is about the people that God ha will bless through me. I can't just be at home because we got money. I can't just be watching TV all day. I got work to do. People get Alzheimer's that don't work. All right, let's go to the last one. Ladies, I didn't forget. Stay in character. Stay in character. Stay in character. Kids, stay in character. Say it with me. One, two, three. And you're going to be blessed. You can't do Proverbs 31 and not be blessed. But if you come out of a Proverbs 31, you come out of a virtuous woman. I don't know what the opposite of a virtuous woman is. But if you come out of that for any reason, you're about to get what the enemy gets. Stay in character. Stay in character. Stay in character. Come on, show me that real quick. Stay in character, y'all. All these little movies, I promise you, they're trying to get these kids out. They're trying to get the main character out of character. They're trying to get the main character who's a good person, who has a great heart. Every, every cartoon, they're trying to get him out of character. Now, I want to show y'all something real quick. This show, I'm, I know I'm telling my age. I'm telling my age. And most of my young people in here, before y'all go to children's time, you probably not going to know who this is. But I just, when I thought about this message today, I was like, okay, no better character to show than this character right here. Stay in character. Y'all young, y'all don't know nothing about the gremlins. Huh? But the gremlins was real cool until they weren't cool. <laughs> and there were some specific instructions that they were given. Whoever owns a gremlin, don't feed them this and don't feed them at this time. Oh, can I get a witness? Amen. And they were the most loving creatures of all creatures. But once them jokers got out of character, <laughs> Once they start eating certain things, start eating at certain times, you laughing, but this is who we are as Christians. We in and out of character. Huh? Our marriages are not bad. It's just the person they fell in love with. Once you said, I do, they don't even know who they like. Who is that? They didn't eat after midnight. <laughs> Your spouse didn't eat after midnight. Like, what in the world did you give him? What did you give her to eat? <laughs> my, my, my. I'm just saying, the person we fell in love with, if that person stayed that person, what happens is bills and stress and issues. And the devil's like, yep, I can't wait till y'all say I do. I'm about to toss these issues on y'all. Death in the family, disappointments, infidelity, lying, cheating, stealing, not being responsible. The devil's like, I don't care what they said up there. I'm going to throw these issues. They're going to be gremlin. They're going to be the... <laughs> They're going to be dark. I, mean, I promise you. I got them because they, be, they read that stuff all the time, but they ain't doing none of that stuff. They praying all the time. They praying all that stuff. They ain't about to do none of that stuff. They coming to church. They ain't about to do none of that. You drop the right uh, issue on top of them. <laughs> you put them under the right stress and they will break. You think I'm lying? That's Adam. I put him under the... I put him under the I put Eve under the right one. I got her curious. <laughs> I got her up. She's studying stuff. She ain't supposed to be studying. She in business that don't even belong to her. What is she? Why is she even? She got all of this. I got him because I got her. <laughs> and as soon as I get her, he coming right behind him. And then once I get the two of them, then they son going to kill the other son. So we're going to eat first, then we're going to start killing. <laughs> I just got to put them under, I got to put them under the right circumstances. I put one of them under and he's excellent and the other one mad because he don't want to be excellent. And so now he's going to kill the one that's excellent just because he's excellent. Because he's spiritual and doing it. I'm telling you, you can lose your life for being right. But stay in character. Let's go. Here go the last one. Here's the last one. He is a here's a trustworthy saying. Stay in character. 
Whoever aspires to be an overseer desires a noble task. Now the overseer is to be above reproach, faithful to his wife, temperate, self-control, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. Do you see it? If we stay in character, it ain't, we can't do nothing but be blessed. Now, when I'm reading it, I want you to take yours, men, the one you know you're struggling with, and go cry, cry unto the Lord. Huh? Here's what I love about sin, too. Sin like sugar. You don't need it, but when you taste it for the first time, you ever seen a baby taste sugar for the first time? You ever not, I don't care if they three, they ain't four, they ain't never had it before, five, that first time they get that sugar, they like, what is this? And can I have some more? They got their whole face in that joker like, mm, like, this, whatever the sweet peas you was doing, the little uh, a squash that you, that little nasty squash, like whatever you serve from this day four, I'm just being real, they was eating the squash, the bananas, they was killing them. Once they hit that sugar and you start talking about string beans, You ever seen them spit it back out? That's after sugar. <laughs> Before sugar, everything is good. Once they hit that sugar, that's how sin is. Once you taste it the first time, it's hard to stop doing it. Anybody ever stop eating sugar like intentionally? You stop or whatever you stop doing. Six months, seven months. <laughs> the devil was like, oh, bro, I ain't even studying you, bro. This is a marathon. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Go ahead with your six months self. <laughs> Go right ahead. I ain't nobody stunning you. Go for a year if you want to. I ain't tripping. I'm going to catch you on the background. I'm going to wait till your father pass. I'm going to wait for your mom to pass. I'm going to wait for you to lose that job. I'm going to wait for the repo man to come get your stuff. And you're going to come right back to me. I ain't Because I, I, I program you. I'm good. That's why we got to stay in character. Once we come out of character, we destroy everything. And listen to me, I just hope you heard the secret. The secret is can't nobody stop your blessings but you. We're the only ones. When we come out of character is when, as long as we stay in the safest place in the whole wide world. Let me hurry up. I'm getting out of here. He must manage his own family well and see that his children obey him. I'm just saying if we go with this, y'all, we're going to have a lot of people serving in the church. <laughs> I always be like, okay, God, who's supposed to be an overseer? <laughs> it's going to be tough. But he, he knew why he said it. Watch what he says. He must do in a manner worthy of full respect. People can give you a title all day, but people don't respect you until you stay in character. When they watch you go in and out of character, it's like, oh, I'm good on that. If anyone does not know how to manage his own family, he cannot take care of God's church. Let's go. Hurry up. We got to get the people out of here. He must be a, oh, he must not be, I'm sorry. He must not be a recent convert or he may be conceited and fall under the same judgment as the devil. Remember when I said the devil, y'all thought I was playing. Once we get out of character, we are in the same play, we're on the same playground as the devil. He must also have a good reputation with outsiders so that he will not fall into disgrace and into the devil's traps. Deacons, likewise, are to be men worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine, or not pursuing dishonest gain. If we stay in character, there's no way we can't be successful. Somebody said, E.T., you think the Lions can win? I said, I'm going to be real. When you get to that level, the team that's going to win because both teams are great is the team with the fewest penalties and with those penalties that cost. You know when somebody get an N.O. and they run that joker back? I'm like, bro, I believe we could beat them. But it's all going to come down when you get here. It all comes down to mistakes. It all comes down to turnovers. I'll listen to what he's saying. He's saying, he's saying, he's saying, as long as we do what he tells us to do and we don't have turnovers, we're going to win. It's the turnovers. It's the coming out of character. Some people came out of character and they're in their grave. Some people came out of character, they're in prison. Some people came out of character and lost everything they had. 
I was just watching the news. My man was the, the news reporter. This was yesterday. The anchor, he was talking about uh, 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 all the people that lost their, their whole family and lost their careers, you know, because of alcohol. And he was like, and that was me 10 years ago. I lost my wife and my children and all my, almost my job at WXYZ. <laughs> I was like, what? He was like, I was an alcoholic. I was like, unbelievable. Watch this. They must keep hold of deep truths of the faith with a clear conscience. They must first be tested. And then if there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. In the same way, their wives ought to be women worthy of respect, not malicious talkers, but tempted, um, temperate and trustworthy in everything. Y'all, if we would do this, we would, we'd be killing the game. <laughs> I want y'all to go back. Proverbs, women study this, men study this. If we get to this and we don't get out of character, it's just everything we touch going to turn to gold. It's the hokey pokey that's getting us. <clears throat> if you would just stay you, oh, you, you bad when you you. You ain't no joke when you, 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 when you, you, that's what attracted us to you in the first place. If you just stay you, oh man, but it's the in and out, the in and out, the in and out. And then now it's like, who is that gremlin? A deacon must be the husband of one wife and must manage his children in his household well. Romans 8, 4 through 6, for those who live according to the flesh, set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. Stay in character. Stay in character. And again, I say, <laughs> stay in character. God told me to tell you today, stay in character. God told me to tell you today, if you want to be blessed, stay in character. Stop coming in and out. Stay in character. Stay in character. Just look at this screen for a minute. Stay in character. Look at the screen. Stay in character. Stay in character. I leave you with this. This is why it's so important. I always want to give a practical illustration. Now, I'll be honest. I was not the type of young man who read about leaders who admired Martin Luther King when I was a kid. I, I didn't look up to Martin Luther King like that. Malcolm was my guy. Garvey was my guy. But now I, understood, I understand why God chose a preacher, a Baptist preacher to do his work. This is some big work to do. But what Martin Luther King was teaching was, no matter what they do, stay in character. I didn't, I, it didn't make sense to me. I'm like, bro, they sitting here sicking dogs. Go back to the other one. They sicking dogs on this kid. He not, he, listen, this is a young man. They sicking dog. They got water hose. They beating people with, they killing people. Why are you sitting there telling them that we going to march? Uh, uh, bro, have you lost your mind? Like I was an X fan. X had a gun. X was like, I promise you, you come for mine, I'm coming for yours. I'm, I'm the, the minister, Louis Farrakhan, once told uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, they told Muhammad Ali, like, don't fight, lose the fight. He, he came to Elijah, like, look, they told me they're going to break my leg. He said, go back and tell them I said, you ain't the only one with legs. They got legs too. So if they break yours, we coming for theirs. I never, I'm like, Martin Luther King, what is my man on? He got all these innocent people, these kids walking with him over bridge. They got water hose on the other side. They got dogs. He talking about something we shall overcome. They got guns, bro. You up here singing. Bro, they got dogs. They about to sick these dogs on these kids, bite these kids. They about to put y'all in jail. Why are you singing? He said, the whole world is watching. We're going to shame them. Stay in character. Because if you hit them, they got an excuse now for why they stay in character. It's going to be tough. Walk with me. Whatever you do, if you can't stay in character, don't come with me. If you're going to cuss them back out, don't come out here with us. If you're going to fight them, don't come out here with us. 
Don't, don't come out here. If you're going to do anything other than march peacefully and let them do whatever they want, we enjoy our freedom today because Dr. Martin Luther King taught stay in character. No matter what they do, no matter how long they do it, stay in character. And eventually love is going to conquer hate. But stay in character. No other leader taught that. Martin talks stay in character. I'm talking to some wife today. Stay in character. I'm talking to some husband. Stay in character. I'm talking to what they're doing at your job. Stay in character. I don't care what they say or what they do. Stay in character. I don't care what some racist person does. Stay in character. And if you stay in character, you put God in a situation where he don't have no choice but to bless you. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't know what's going to become of your spouse. I can't tell you that. But you're going to get blessed if you stay in character. I can't tell you what's going to happen to your kids. But if you stay in character, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen for you. Had Adam stayed in the character, I, I believe God would have created another Eve. I believe he would have created, because he's the creator of all things. Are y'all listening to me? Listen to me. I'm saying this ain't no sermon, y'all. Don't do me like that. I told y'all last week, I was like, okay, God, maybe I'm doing something wrong. You got to show me how to preach in a way that they could get it and it's simplified. This should be simple for you. Stay in character. This should be easy for you to comprehend. Next time somebody cuss you out, don't cuss them back out. Huh? Next time something happened, pray. Talking to my wife, Didi don't get mad at me, but Didi... Didi, <laughs> Didi said to me, there was a lot of responsibilities. And Didi was just like, you know, it's just like, I got a lot. I'm anxious. And I said, okay, sweetheart, that's not, that's not, that's not a word we should be using. No disrespect to you, but that's not a word we should be using. Be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. Let's just stop right now, sweetheart, and pray. Because if you anxious, that just means you taking it on. Well, we have a God that already said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So I get it. I get it. I'm not helping with the bills. Like, I get it. It's starting to pile up on you. I get it. You, I don't clean like you. and you gotta. I get it. I understand. I hear exactly what you're saying. But let's just stop. And let's just pray. And I promise you, we stopped and prayed, and I promise you, it, you, the, you could, the shift in the atmosphere. Am I, am I talking to anybody? Am I talking to anybody? We can't have this God and these instructions and we not do it. Everything we need to be blessed is in the Word. And we can't keep reading it and coming out of it. We got to get in it and stay in it. And I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for somebody right now, Lord. We, we, we have a good reason. We're not ignorant, Lord. We've had good reasons to come out of character. We have. For some of us, Lord, our, 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 our beginning was tough. We, we was born out of character. We weren't even born in character. We was born out of character. But there's no, come on, all ye that are, come unto me, and I will give you Take my yoke and learn of me. Not your situation or your circumstance. Learn of me. And so, Lord, we want to stop. We want to stop all of this good reasoning for doing wrong. It's not appropriate. It's not necessary. It's not healthy. We want to come out of the excuses, making good excuses for why we are out of character. And we just want to say, help, 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 help. Paul said, for the good I would, I do if not. And the evil that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. Who shall deliver me from this body of death? Help. And so some of this stuff is generational, Lord. Some of this stuff, the enemy has just been bullying us. And it stops today. And we need help. You showed us the word, and we're grateful for it. But we got addictions. And we got history. And we got philosophy. We got a way of thinking. We got a mindset. So if you want us to do what you told us to do, you're going to have to help. You're going to have to help, Lord. Somebody today, you're saying, I'm ready for that help. I'm ready for that help. 
I'm asking you to come right now. I'm ready for that help. I want to stay in character. I do. But if I'm going to stay in character, God, you're going to have to help me. I want, I want to stay in character. 2024, I want to stay in it. I don't want to be in and out of it. But you're going to have to help if I'm going to stay in it. I got some challenges. I got some addictions. I got some, I got some struggles. I got some triggers that keep taking me back. If that's you, stand before your maker if you're, if, if you're capable. If you're not, sit on a chair. If you're capable, fall before your maker. If you're not, sit at a chair. Today, today is the day where our triggers, our past, none of that. We love who we are. And we hate when we, we hate when we come out of character just as much as we, the person that hates us coming out of character. And we want to stay in character, Father, in the name of Jesus. This is the year we want to stay. You're watching online. You want to stay in character. And so, Father, I come right now asking that you would surround us with stay in character people. A lot of us are with people who don't stay in character. And so, and so my mama said, if you hang with nine broke people, you bound to be the tenth. You hang with nine wealthy people, you bound to be the tenth. And so we want to be around stay in character people. We don't want to be around people, Lord, who are okay with going in and out of the spirit. We're not perfect. We're just saying we want to be around other people who have the same mindset. Keep us in the word. Keep us close to the word. Keep us around the spiritual stuff, Lord. Help us to watch the music that we're listening to. We want to, we want to stay in and around stuff that's going to keep us in character, not get in stuff that's going to take us out of character. So bless us, Father. You, we, we can't say it simpler enough. Yes, we want it, but the desire to do right is not naturally in us. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Do something, Father. Do something. Show up in our lives, Lord. Show up in a way that is powerful and meaningful and helps us to overcome our mouth and overcome our reactions and overcome our addictions and overcome our, our flesh. Do that for us. And when you do it, we will not take the credit and when you do it, we will make sure in the name of Jesus Christ that we teach others. This is our prayer, not because we're worthy, but we ask for your help. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you Saturday at 11 for Sabbath service. For all of our announcements, upcoming events, and special programming, please visit our social media pages on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Your tangible support of this ministry makes all the difference in the world, and we can't thank you enough for your commitment. If you'd like to support this ministry, please use our cash app at dollar sign APOC Global. If you would prefer a more traditional approach, please visit our website at www.apocministry.org. On behalf of pastors Thomas and Tyus, their wives and families, and the whole of your A Place of Change ministry family, until we meet again, be blessed.